What is up, guys? Devil Dog Gamer here, and we're back with some escape from Tarkov. We're gonna play a little game. Can you spot the camper before I get killed? Now, there's no wrong way to play Tarkov. Everybody has their own play style, everybody has their own loot style, etc. But in this game of hide and seek, everyone wants to be the seeker, nobody really wants to be the hider. But the hiders are starting to get sneakier, they're starting to grow in number, and they're starting to get better armed and equipped. So, through my adventures of just one day, can you see them? before they see me? Let's find out. All right, we got one. I'm just gonna grab a few more meds and just get the fuck out of here, man. Get this quest done as fast as possible, really. Yeah, see, I don't want to be around there for that. No, I don't appendix carry. I'm not a huge fan of that. No, I'm not a huge, uh, no. Opening ca open carry is a huge, huge you get killed first situation. I'll never open carry even if it becomes legal here. What's my carry at the moment? Um, my agency arms, Glock 17, comped with an RMR. If you spotted the super geared boy hiding in a little tiny room with just a toilet and no loot spawn, congratulations, you have eagle eyes. While he may be an awesome and sneaky hider, since we didn't hear him at all even during, during sound checks, he's a terrible shot. And the amount of M995 that he wasted means that I actually came out on top with money with less money lost in that engagement. Let's go on to the next one and see what we got. Where the fuck was he at? Where was he indeed? Judging by the impacts after they passed straight through uh, my back and out of my chest, he was somewhere behind me, though we kind of walked through the bushes and never saw him, but we might have stepped on him or anything like that. But uh, that guy was actually a pretty good hider, but nighttime raids, usually this is what you encounter anyways, because everyone's being super sneaky. This one is a weird one and a controversial one because during the live stream, this guy actually came onto my live stream and threatened to slit my throat in real life, which kind of shows you the mindset of some of these people. So don't praise him for his awesome hiding skills. But this one's weird because you only get to see him in one 
frame of it because the way the pop-in and the LOD works. So we'll show frame one and frame two, and you can see them pointed out in frame two. Only one little chance, even though we actually looked for them pretty well, like did a nice little scan, only saw them right when we died. This one's kind of an easy one because this downstairs area is always camped. Even though it sounded like all the action had moved on and was to our left, we kind of looked around, didn't see anybody real quick, focused back on the left, and everybody just popped out of rooms everywhere to engage me. Uh, this is the pretty much the most high traffic camped area and it's always groups hiding in these rooms waiting for people to open up the LEDX spawn and things like that. But this one's a kind of an inevitable one and you kind of knew it was coming just from seeing the area. Someone's over here eating some food and shit. While this one was the most obvious of all the hide and seek ones, the camper didn't actually kill me. I killed myself because I saw all the juicy loot on the ground and loaded with only a pistol. I trusted that that grenade was far enough in that room, which I really thought it was, that it wasn't going to get me in the hallway. Well, guess what? Don't trust the hand grenades as far as you can throw them, boys. It's time for the bonus round. This one I'm calling how many? How many guys do you think are going to be in a room after the initial engagement? Let's find out. Oh, intelligence folder. <laughs> if you guessed three, then you are correct. We saw one, engage, run in, we get three. At least we got the juicy boy down for that one. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at the nice new little game we called Spot the Camper, even though maybe there were a few that you could probably figure out which where it was going to come from beforehand. Most of the time, you really don't know where it's going to come from, which is the, kind of the beauty and the curse of this game. The game is, is playable in many forms, but the easiest way is to camp. And it's the most rewarding of the ways in the sense of loot and not losing loot. Um, if you play aggressive and fast and, and can hit consistent headshots, the game is also in your favor due to the desync. But if you're the average player who can't hit a headshot every single time or doesn't want to sit for half an hour and, and ambush people, you're probably going to be on the losing side of each of those each and every single time, which is why a lot of people are grouping up and you're starting to see more and more groups. Um, I don't have anything against group play, I just don't like playing against groups as a single player guy because I'm only one man and I'm going to die every single time. Um, now, I'm going to leave with a few parting words. Uh, 
I do love Tarkov. The game is probably one of the most aggravating games I've ever played. And I read a comment that hit really deep into my soul with this game. And I, and I kind of hope it does with you also. I love the concept of this game more than the game itself. Let that sink in a little bit with you boys. But if you guys want to see some more of this deep dives and, you know, little kind of fun things with Tarkov other than the normal gameplay, let me know in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.